we've been shopping at Camberang Nursery just up the road here. I got a gift voucher from those wonderful people at the community garden uh, for when I gave a bit of a talk down there for their open day. Very generous of them. Wish they hadn't. They need the money too. But anyway, I bought some plants. And this is number one. It's a, a grapevine, Autumn Royal. And we're going to put that out on our trellises or arbors or arches or whatever you want to call them that we put up before. And I'm going to add another one uh, up the back to go with our other uh, grapevine that we've got. So I'm going to plant this on the opposite side, further down. What do you want, mad dog? The dog is having fun anyway. So we're going to put the Autumn Royal in with our Black Strawberry. Black Strawberry's over on this side. And I'm going to put this one over here, diagonally opposite, so that we'll grow a bit further up. So we'll go grow this Autumn one on this side, up and over, meet in the middle. Got our Black Strawberry, which will grow up this side and over. And that way we'll have two varieties of grape, one on either side. Got to get it all cleaned out, and I've got to get another one of these meshes up, which means moving that garden bed. It's a pain in the neck, but we shall do so. So let's get cleaning up in here, get our other arch up, and get our grapevine in. So it's all up. We've got everything in as well, and some mulch around it. Let's go in and have a closer look. Down here we've got some rock melons in. Hopefully they'll come good. Looking a little wilty, we've given it a water. There's our grapevine. Looking a little wilted, but that's to be expected. Now I put that in, built the soil up with a whole heap of piggy post. That should give it a bit of nourishment. I've got some NPK on there as well. Along here, there's our passion fruit we put in earlier. The little baby seedling, and we're growing that from the community gardens um, Panama Gold that I grew from seed. Another one there, and another one further up. So there's probably too many in here, but we'll see how we go. That I think from memory is a butternut pumpkin we're going to grow up the trellis as well. On the other side, we've got some squashes, some pumpkin. It's our grapevine doing okay. All that's new growth, so it's shooting out there nicely. And on my squash here, I've actually got one. Where is he gone? One little squash, but hasn't been fertilized, so we'll take him off. Just out of interest, when we get them like that, and they're small and they're rotting on the end, usually means the bees haven't done their job and it's not been fertilized correctly or fully. So he's a dead one. So I'm quite pleased with that. It's not perfect, it's not perfectly aligned, but who cares? Should be stable enough, and we can grow all of the uh, goodies up it. What do you think? You done something like this with a sheet mesh? I'd recommend it. Let me know in the comments. And as always, remember, like, subscribe, bell, YouTube-y thing, do it all, make me happy. Thanks very much for watching. Enjoy life. Catch in the garden.